Day 12, 26th June 2015, Time Travel Is there anything in your life from your past that you would like to modify? Is there anything that was very very negative maybe that completely changed the course of your life? Is there anything in the past that is still impacting you negatively at present? Or is there something that is simply normal but you would like to take it from the ordinary level to an extraordinary level? Do you think modifying something from your past will improve your present? Well, it's not about past modification. It's about modification in your own thoughts, your own beliefs about life. We cannot go back, we cannot really try and travel and change our past, but our perception that remains as part of the past experiences stays with us. It remains inside of us and this is an opportunity today to change that. Because once you change something that is in your mind, everything outside in the world changes. So if you have such a scenario, it could be very very fiercely negative or it could be some ordinary incident as well that may be changing it in your mind mentally by going in the past will improve your life even more today. Doing this exercise will not negatively impact at all, only be positive and beneficial to you. And here are a few tips. So the first activity today is to send me privately on WhatsApp. Don't send it on the group because this is quite personal. So send me privately three such scenarios. If three is too big a number, fine, send me just one or two scenarios. If three is a very small number, send only three. Let's not go beyond three today. So send me three such scenarios which you think you would like to modify or repair or fix from your past. So it could vary from person to person. One of you may want to modify it to take your life to another level altogether. One of you may want to just alter it. One of you may want to repair it. One of you may want to fix it altogether. So that is the first activity to send them privately to me on WhatsApp. Activity two is just sit comfortably. Just take your own time and relax yourself on a chair or on a bed. Maybe close your eyes. Be relaxed, be in an environment where there is quietness, where there is no disturbance and be with yourself completely. For a few minutes, tell yourself that I am going to focus on these three scenarios in a very disciplined fashion because it is going to benefit me in the future and pick up the first scenario. Initially, look at the scenario as if you are watching something on television and as you clearly are able to establish the scenario without continuing just go into that scenario be the first person not the third person so you will start as a third person but you will go into that scenario as the first person initially you will visualize yourself as a third person but then go and stand in your own place become the first person because you have not observed that you have experienced that so you have to go back and experience it after you go into that scenario, just remember how you responded to that situation. What was the situation and what was your response at that point of time? It was perfect for that point of time. Your consciousness, your understanding of life was perfect at that point of time. Today it is different. Today you are more evolved than what you were at that time. Even if that scenario was yesterday's scenario, you have evolved since then. You have evolved over a period of time. So, you are an evolving and evolved being. You are at the perfect time now, but at that point of time, you were perfect as well. How you responded to that situation, just remember and change it right now based on your better understanding of life, of mind, of spirituality, of God, of everything. Just respond again to that scenario. Now in order to respond, since you are in this very quiet state on a chair or on your bed with eyes closed and in a very relaxed state, it is okay even if you speak out. Like as if that scenario is happening right now in front of you and you can speak it out as well. You can just verbally speak it out. If you can't do it mentally, 
बिकॉज द माइंड इज इनग्रॉस विथ टू मेनी थॉट्स एंड इट इज समाइम्स टफ टू चैनलाइज दो थॉट्स इन अ वेरी वेरी डिसिप्लिन मैनर इट इज पॉसिबल बट इट इज समाइम्स अ बेट चैलेंजिंग स्पेशली इन सच केसेज सो वी आर गोइंग टू फाइट बैक विद दैट सीनारियो राइट नाउ एंड यू मे वर्बली टॉक यू मे डू योर ओन जेस्टर्स यू कैन बी दैट पास्ट टाइम राइट नाउ If something happened with you in 2007 or 2008 that you find incorrect or unpleasant or which is not very sweet or nice, change it right now. Just go and relive it, attack it, but with a new version of yourself. You are now a new version of yourself. You are now a better consciousness of what you were. You are reborn every day. So today you are not the same person that you were in that year. so you will be responding that in a much better situation and when you do that you will see clearly that the other person is also responding differently the other person is not responding in the same manner don't look at the outcome the outcome is not important what happened is the cause of what you are experiencing today right if something is impacting you today it is the cause if you can eradicate the cause of what happened the effect is of no use of no value of no weightage of no importance so just go and remove the cause just change what happened see the other person responding differently if he was someone close to you and he said things to you which were very hurting very painful very bad if someone went away from you if someone was committed to you but he suddenly betrayed you for some reason just cancel that from your life just rewrite that scenario just see him coming back to you see yourself as such an unconditional lover that he comes back to you he may speak the same things that he did during that particular event in those 5 10 minutes but since you are now better version of that something similar to what happens in harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban where the time travel and they relive those scenarios and they recreate what happens at that time and they save harry they save serious black that is exactly what we are doing here we are going to relive this same incident in a new version of ourselves and see the other person responding differently so this is basically a beginning to a new life begin your life again even if something happened that you didn't like even if you said something that you didn't like that you don't appreciate now change it change it right now assume that it is 2007 right now and that is happening with you and completely change it and once you do just imagine a balloon in your hand with your eyes closed just wrap this incident completely in that balloon just see like as if you are holding that incident in your hand like a miniature toy game as a third person wrap it in a balloon and cut the string of that balloon and let it go away from you permanently now the better version of that is with you the older unrequired version is gone away from you so just ignore it completely let it go and you can repeat this same exercise for scenarios 2 and 